Hello everybody. Today I'm going to share a few replicas I did. And to do that I have to give a special thanks to Johnny Devereaux, to Lid Motor, and to Broken Man. This one here that you're looking at right now, this is Johnny Devereaux's. He calls it the simple SEA step-by-step -step build with add-on. And it really works great. It's got uh, two trays here, a little trigger coil, uh, 2N2222 transistor. I'm using 9 volts to run it. It has two sets here, 9 LEDs each. I'll uh, Fire it up and show you a little bit about it here. Here's the uh, circuit that I put together for it right here. This is the uh, trigger coil in the circuit. It came out of a one-time use ca camera. If you go to uh, Johnny Devereaux's channel and you look up this simple SEE step-by-step -step build circuit, he, he, he does an ex excellent diagram of it. And... Uh, it's a lot of fun to build. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here. The uh, LEDs you see here in the print, there's, he's got 1 times 9 LEDs here. What I did is I mounted them right up here on the board. The, over here is the virtual ground that just goes up here and hangs onto a magnet. And over here is another virtual ground that goes over here and hangs on a magnet. Yeah, so I'll fire that up. Uh, when I turn it on, <laughs> right here, little switch I got, you see nothing happens. But what I have to do now is I have to put my hand in each one of these little aluminum pie pans, these throwaway pie pans. I'll do that right now. And that fired the LEDs right up. You see they're really nice and bright and they work great. Now these uh bring it back here a little bit, these aluminum pipe pans are talking to one another. It's working good. If I move this uh one here in against that light, and this one against this four foot fluorescent bulb, uh if I touch this pan, I don't think I'm gonna do it now, is it? Oh, don't matter. Usually it'll light it right up, that horns and bulb. Not real bright. Oh, I'm off again. Hang on. There we go. There we go. That's just that these uh, pie pans lighting up that fluorescent. Pretty neat. I got some heat over here. Here's a little neon off the uh, output the trigger coil goes to this pan. It lights it up pretty darn good. Okay. Now we'll move on to the next one. Let me shut this off. I'm going to disconnect the power to it completely. Right here. With a 9 volt battery. Set it over out of the way. Now you can see there's no power to it at all. Okay, next we're going to take a look at my uh, Slayer exciters here. This one here is a circuit from Lit Motor. This one here is pretty. It's a circuit from Broken Man, 12 volt power supply to it. It's wrapped in aluminum wire. I went to the electronic shop and the guy gave me a, a, a roll, kind of a roll of it and a loose roll. And they uh, told me to try it because they can't solder it to anything. And I, I stuck it on there and it works pretty good. It doesn't work as good as the uh, the copper one, but it works pretty good. Over here, this one I wound. This is a recycled wire. It's copper. And it works real good. <laughs> okay, here's the uh, circuit for lid motors. He's using the uh, 3906 PNP transistor in it. And 
hopefully you can see that all right. Uh, the tower is 2 inches in diameter, 10 inches tall, 18 gauge on L1 and uh, 26 on L2. It works real good. Okay, here's uh, this is Brokerman circuit. Hopefully you can see that all right. If I turn it this way. I can't see it. There we go. And he's using a 2N3055 transistor. You can see the diode there all right, everything. This one is 18 gauge and 22 gauge wire. And it, it works real well. Real, very, very good indeed. I'll fire it up once here. What I'm doing here is I'm powering it with my uh, voltage regulator. This voltage regulator comes off my backup solar power system. And I have 12 volts coming over here. 12 DC volts and uh, this puts out about the maximum of about 10 volts. About 1 to, about one to 10 volts. I have it set up at 10 volts right now. I'm going to fire it up and watch what happens here. It takes that uh, 4 foot fluorescent and lights it up immediately. It lights up these guys on the back here. <laughs> these 18 LEDs. And uh, it'll fire up these pans enough so I can get a, a reading off of both of them there with this neon. This circuit here is not fired up at all. It's getting it through the air. These two are. Both these pans are. And let's try this here. A little water here. I can get it. I can't. I don't want to light up. That don't matter. Anyway, these two towers here, this one, this one, they have no power. They're not. They're not the uh, circuit itself that drives them is not hooked up. These circuits. What I've done here is I've taken the output of this first transformer, the copper one and uh, just tied it to the output of the other two and they really put out <laughs> pretty good this uh maybe you see this a little uh, smaller fluorescent bulb but it really lights it up great plus it's lighting up this four footer down here plus it's lighting up these 18 leds it's lighting up this lone LED and it's lighting up a small one I got hanging on the wall there. Putting out a lot of power. This up here is just a little whistle ball with a little fluorescent bulb in it. I just set it in the top of this thing. That's it. And they work pretty neat. I've been having a lot of fun with this stuff. One more I'll do here, here real quick. This is uh, Johnny Devereaux's uh, trigger coil LED driver. You see that all right? Yeah. Originally, I I made one of these LED boards here for this driver. See how it works. It'll, uh, this circuit right here that I put together. It'll work uh, pretty good with one uh, AA battery. I have it hooked up to two right now that have these bigger LEDs in here. I just push my little button here and it didn't work. <laughs> That's because I don't have it hooked up here. There we go. These uh, little switches I've been coming up with, I don't know how good you can see that little switch. I've been uh, buying these little flashlights here at the dollar store, really bright, for a buck. And there's the switch right there. So I've been putting them on everything. They work good. 
you can uh, just solder a couple of leads on it and just plug it into your pegboard. Well, I think that's going to be about it for today. This fluorescent bulb here, I'll take it out of there once and show you uh, how nicely it lights up. <laughs> lights up pretty good. Let me take it off a of flower here. I'll drop that on the floor. There we go. Now we get back a ways. That works pretty darn good. You see the two pans. I'll get back about a mile here. <laughs> and there are my three towers. A uh, Litmore Tower and a couple of Broken Man Circuit Towers for his towers. It works good. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching.